Let's start with Donovan Klingon out of UConn, right? 20 years old, 7'2", seven 7'5", foot seven foot wingspan, 280 pounds, big boy. Um, national champion, playing for, you know, coach Danny Hurley, who was a hot name. As far as his pros, he's the best rim protector in this draft to me. Right? He doesn't go for pump fakes, stays down, which makes sense because he's 7'2". But when he does go up, more times than not, he's going vertical. So that allows him to stay out of foul trouble. He's a good passer, not just for his size, but he's just a, a really good passer. He's a good rebounder too as well. He's got great vision, very physical. Good screener as far as his cons um he's not he's not a great shooter like outside of 15 feet and he's not a good free throw shooter he shot 58 percent from the free throw line last year and he shot 25 percent from three so the three point percentage doesn't really bother me as much you know with him being massive at seven foot two he's going to be getting fouled a lot so his ability to knock down those free throws is going to be important to me and i kind of have a player count for all these guys the one that i have for him is something of a Roy Hibbert type player, but with more offense. He was a big guy. I remember when he played against uh, the Heat in the playoffs, he would give LeBron problems as he was going to the cup. So I see him being that kind of a guy, but with more offense, better vision, better hands, just, just a better offensive player. The next guy I want to look at is Stefan Castle. I like him because he obviously he played in the same team with um, Donovan Klingon at UConn. So they're both national champions, but he's 19. Um, six foot six guard, six foot nine wingspan, 210 pounds. His pros are a great defender. He likes getting out in those passing lanes. He can guard one, two, three. High motor, doesn't take plays off, high energy player. And he's really good at turning defense and offense. His cons, he does need to work on that ball handling, and that three ball. For me, his comp is something like an Alex Caruso type player. Maybe not the same defensive player because Caruso is an off defensive player. How do you feel about him? You got any thoughts on him? I only watched him briefly. For me, it was mostly about the guys that I know for sure that I've heard that were on the Pistons radar. I know that Dwayne Casey went and he went and visited Zachary overseas. You know what I'm yep. saying? He, he was sitting at the games, you know what I'm saying, over there. I know that they're very interested in Cody. Uh, they show significant interest in Modis as well. So there's a name in the comments that I actually I agree with. Uh, Devin Carter, like I said, whoever the Pistons add, it just has to be a guy that's going to contribute. A seven foot two guy, though, <laughs> you know, I want another big. Um, me personally, I think you know, the, the Pistons just may move on from Isaiah, they may just move on from Isaiah. Um, you're starting to see it, you know, what I'm saying it just may happen. Uh, but to put somebody down there with some size. Of course we got Jalen Duran, right? Yeah. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. We got some rumors also that you you know that we'll get into later in the show mm -hmm. that you want to talk about. But it's filling out this team with proper positions and working pieces that fit together. Right. I got a couple more guys I'm gonna go through. Midas Guzelis. You look tonight. I'm 19, six foot ten, six foot ten wingspan, which isn't that great, but it's not terrible. He's a little string being though, he's 195 pounds. <laughs> you know, I do think his defense is ahead of his offense. He's not a clamper, definitely an above average defender. He averaged about two blocks a game, and he set the record for the most blocks for the G League Ignite. Obviously, best as an off ball player. He's a good cutter, he's a good finisher on the basket. You can tell he watched Dirt growing up because he has a nice little one like a fadeaway. He likes to mm -hmm. very active on the glass, which I like. It's just his shooting for me. He needs to improve his shooting. He shot 27% last season. Right. Much better shooter when he's able to set those feet. He's gotta get bigger, he's gotta get stronger. He doesn't really have a quick first step either. So I don't really see him long term as a primary offensive initiator or creator because guys are really able to stay in front. But yeah. my count for him is Franz Wagner. Not amazing at anything, but above average at a lot. You know, especially on defense. But I do think Franz is a better shooter for sure at this point. My only concern is the shooting. That's my only concern. You know, same situation, man. Got to have guys in here that stretch the floor or at least be a threat out there. Right. You got to have that at this point. We've seen this team struggle with that too long. Mm -hmm. It's time to finally get some guys. And whether that's going to be, I mean, let's just be honest about it. This is the fifth pick of this draft. I'm not expecting him to come in here and start. You know what I'm saying? But if it's somebody that we feel like, you know, we can get that, that developed, you know, over a couple of years, man, where he can be someone who can knock down some shots, then I'm fine with that as well. I mean, I'm looking more towards trading and free agency to add the guys that's going to, you know, spread the floor 
immediately right now, you know, as far as starting the lineup type of situation. Right. Uh, this is a guy that's probably going to be coming in off the bench. So I have no issue with that. Uh, Modest is definitely uh, good at a lot of things. It's just the shooting department. He's very athletic, to be honest. You know, I definitely had an opportunity to sit and watch some real good clips of Modest Man. So, yeah, he has a whole lot of game. Uh, he does. Yeah, a whole lot of game. All right, so yeah, let's get to Cody, man, because these are the last two guys I want to get to and we can move on. Mm -hmm. So Cody Williams, right, 19 years old, um, 6'8 point guard, 7'1 wingspan, which I like. Um, he is a string bean as well, 180 pounds. <laughs> a lot of these guys, man, got to put some bulk on. Um, he's the younger brother of OKC Thunders, Jalen Williams, which is pretty cool. As far as his pros, I like it because he's really comfortable on and off the ball. He can fit in pretty much anywhere offensively which is cool, he's Swiss Army Knife type of guy, can do a little bit of everything. Got a high IQ, right? He's a really good athlete. But what I like is that he likes to move without the ball. Like he likes to come off DHOs, those dribble handoff action and survey the defense. And he's able to make the right read from there. He doesn't get sped up. And if he fell to us, he would be a capable playmaker when needed. And you can never have too many of those, right? Um, but what I like also about him offensively is he does it, like I mentioned, he doesn't get sped up, he's very patient. He knows how to use that body pretty well even though he's not huge he still knows how to use his body and use angles well and get guys in his hip when he's manipulating that defense he's a good finisher with either hand i've seen him finish with the left a lot he's really good with that left hand um which is important for in that pick and roll right in that dho you got to be able to use either hand and then defensively i think he can guard one through three maybe even some small ball fours right which is also a good thing being able to switch and not having to fight over every single screen i think is important too so as far as things he needs to work on, we talked about it. he's got to get stronger, yeah. right? He's got to get stronger. Um, and that jump shot at times can be inconsistent, can be very inconsistent. When he's on, he's on. When he's off, he's off. So I want to see him get a little bit more consistent with that jumper. But his player comp, I'm not only saying this because of OKC, but he reminds me of Jaden McDaniels. And Jaden is a future all-star in the league. And he's a great two-way player. So I'm not saying he's going to be a future all-star and two-way player, but I think he can be the two-way player part. And the last guy I wanted to get to, and then we can move on. This is who I actually want. If we're gonna stay at five, this is who I want. Dalton Connect out of Tennessee. I don't even think that's a popular name. Maybe it is. I like his game, bro. So let's get to him. He's 23, right? 6'6", guard for, or forward. He's got a six foot nine wingspan, 210 pounds. Um, pros, right? I think he is the best scorer in this draft. He averaged 21 last season. Um, he's definitely a great athlete. He scored all three levels. He's a good. He shot 40% from three last season. He's a good shooter, really good shooter. And I feel like he could come in right away and solve some of our offensive issues, right? Maybe not even as a starter, but just off the bench. And I think he can really help connect some of those dots. See what I did there? Oh, Dot, oh, connect, God. connect. <laughs> <laughs> I think he could connect some of those dots. Um, now his cons now, right? There is room for uh, improvement defensively. He's not a liability on defense, but he does need some work defensively. He's not a, a top notch athlete when it comes to lateral foot movement and things like that. He's got about average lateral foot speed and perimeter, but he does have good defensive instincts. And I don't think he'll be liability. But other than that, bro, the only other thing that concerns me with him is his age. With him being 23, he would kind of have to come in right away and be an impact player, rotational player because of his age and experience. So if he had like an unusual slow start, that will be concerning, but I don't foresee that really happening with him. And his player count for me is Tyler Hero. But I think he could actually be better than Tyler Hero. I think he, I think he's every bit of the shooter and he can do, he does, he's not just a come off the, come up pin downs and not, he can do a lot of other things as well with the ball in his hands. So I like what I see from him. That's the guy who, if I had my pick, it will be Don't Connect at number five. You know, and, and me personally, I don't mind older players. They come in a little bit more ready. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a little bit more experience, a little bit more ready. Uh, you take these super, super duper young players, and then when you have a, a impatient uh, franchise and, and fan base, it gets kind of annoying. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? So, right. I wouldn't mind that at all. Um, like I said, he's not going to be a defensive guy. Definitely here to shoot the basketball. 
yeah uh, and get buckets that's what yeah. you're here for floor spacing right more floor spacing so and that, i have no arguments with that that was the biggest thing there isn't really a guy in this draft at five or really even in this draft that i've seen that has both that is a great three-point shooter great spacer great mover without the ball and also a great defensive prospect i, I haven't seen anybody like that in this draft i think he's probably the closest thing to that we know we need defense we know we need spacing so it's kind of like you either got to go all in on one guy's ability to play defense or you got to go all in on another guy's ability to shoot the ball and since we already have a guy we dropped the last season we went all in with on defense in a uh, thompson that's why i don't want modest because i feel like it'll be a repeat of the same kind of guy so at least add something that you don't already have right right like i said i've been seeing devin carter a lot, <laughs> a lot. yeah you know what i don't know too much about devin carter if i'm being frank with you that's part of my homework for next stream too for sure yeah, definitely uh, not a name that's around in the pistons universe uh, as far yeah. as you know beat writers and a couple of plugs out there just not yeah. a name in the, in the universe so definitely yeah. a name that we're totally familiar with right uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get to it v. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get to him <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do my homework on him for sure i got you yeah Tomorrow night, NBA draft, right? Yep. Holla me. Pistons. Trade the pick. <laughs> <laughs> Pistons trade the pick, man. Um, what's your reaction to that? Um, it just depends on what it's for or who it's for. You know what I'm saying? If you know, like if, if they make a trade for Brandon Ingram, I need to see what, what else is included in that trade. You know, if it's number five and what? You know, and that's that's what I'm really going to learn about Trajan. I want to see how shrewd he is. I, I want to see what he's able to do in, in kind of situations where there isn't as much time as maybe one would like to make a decision. I want to see his preparation. I, I'm not saying he's not. I'm just really interested to see what he does, his activity level. So for me, I'm not really, if we do trade a pick, I'm not mad at all. That, that's kind of what I think will be best because we already have too many young guys on this team. We need better presence. But if we do, I'm not mad at all. I actually would prefer it. if we're going to do it. That's what I prefer.